So what I'm doing today is I'm actually looking at the original Hyundai Fluid that uh, came with all Genesis Coupes in 2010. Prior to the Fluid Change TSB that Hyundai issued. Now, this what you see behind you is the TX2, or the second transmission. Uh, this is the one that's actually being shipped down to Jack's transmission for the transmission project. And inside this jar is midstream collection of the oil. I took a, I heated the uh, transmission up to roughly 40 degrees Celsius before I drained it. That way I made sure everything was nice and warm. And then what I did was I put down an oil pan to catch all of the, the oil, but I took samples of the oil uh, right as the plug was opened, let it drain for a bit, took another sample, so the midstream, um, let it drain for a bit more, and then filled up as much as I could of the last jar, which is roughly the same as all the other jars, um, of the last remnants. So uh, anything that would be floating on top for whatever reason, separation or, or whatever. So a question has always been, uh, has the fluid drain, uh, the, the fluid that they used, was it too thick at cold temperatures to permit proper synchronization of the, the synchro meshes? This sample here, as you can tell from the little bit of frost, uh, has been chilled to negative 18 degrees Celsius. Um, and this is a, another jar. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to pour the contents of this jar into this jar so you guys can see exactly how viscous it is. And it's nothing stringently scientific done in this process. A little bit more room. There we go. But it'll give you guys a general idea. I mean, I can send these out to get sampled and proper, but I mean, they're like 20 bucks a pop to get this done. Three samples, 20 bucks a pop. I mean, that's $60 that can go in towards, um, well, just about anything that Jax might need for the transmission. Or, you know, further money towards getting it down there, which I'm still working on. So there's no hinky business. It pours like conventional motor oil. Actually, I've seen conventional motor oil be less fluidic. At negative 18C. So, Hyundai, despite changing the fluid, might not needed to have. Obviously there was issues with the transmission, that's, that's kind of uh, obvious. But, was the issue the fluid in the first place? And as you can see in this clean, non-frostbitten jar, the oil it's pretty liquidy even at negative 18 now ambient temperature right now is about negative 12 but uh, I just pulled it out of my deep freeze and that's negative 18 Look, it even drips properly. So, viscosity is obviously not an issue for the, the, the original factory fluid. Putting the ATF in with uh, higher friction modifiers or switching to the Redline MT85 uh, could be beneficial and could help a lot of people with their synchronization issues if this stuff does not have a lot of uh, friction modifiers in it and and good wear protection, but cold performance wise, 
there's there's no evidence that the fluid was the problem for cold issues. It more than likely was contraction of the metal components at different rates considering that it's an aluminum transmission with steel um, shafts with um, brass bearings and brass you know components they're all going to uh, tighten at different uh, temperatures I don't really have any good examples here because I put the other one away but yeah there you go there's uh, just a general look at the at the fluid